Welcome back everyone and happy Monday morning. So it's not feeling too bad outside and we'll have pretty nice fall weather for this week. So I got a few great viewer photos sent to me over the weekend. Here's the one from Friday evening. Gorgeous sunset over Rosedale. Thank you, Chris Welch, for that picture. And then we had a nice, beautiful sky over Carrollton Saturday afternoon. Thank you, Wanda Rayburn Campbell, for that one. A beautiful sunset over Scott last night. Thank you, Benson John, for that picture. And then we had a nice, gorgeous sunset over, over Shaw last night. Thank you, Marcy McGlaren, for that beautiful picture. And again, thank you, everyone, for sending those in. So for today, we'll have mostly sunny skies and it will be nice, sunny and dry and breezy. But with the low humidity, dry conditions and breezy conditions, that's going to help us to have an elevated fire threat. So as of today, open burning is discouraged and really not just for today, but also for Tuesday and Wednesday as well. So please heat your local ban, local burn bans. So looking at current temps around the country is 51 in Denver, 38 in Rapid City, South Dakota, 60 in Memphis and 80 in Galveston, Texas. Here in the Delta is 63 in Greenville, 65 in Monticello and 57 in Clarksdale. And wind speeds are at five in Cleveland, six in Greenville and calm pretty much all around our region. So highs will be in the mid 80s. Winds will be from the north at 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 20 miles per hour. Overnight lows will get down into the low 50s and it will have mostly clear skies for tonight along with dry and breezy conditions. And for your Tuesday, we'll still be in the low 80s range and it'll be another beautiful sunny day and breezy once again. So now looking at the future tracker, we had the cold fronts that moved in for the last few days. We had two, one for Thursday and then another one on yesterday. So with that, of course, we're having this cooler and drier air moving into our region. And with the high pressure that's going to be set up, that's helping us to have nice weather once again for this week. So while we don't have any weather concerns as of now for our region, we do, we are keeping an eye on Hurricane Ian. So it's a category one storm as of this morning when speeds are at 75 miles per hour. Its projected track shows it possibly making landfall on the western coast of Florida by the middle of this week. So while it could get to major hurricane status, we are still just keeping an eye on it for now. For, so once again, it's a category one storm as of this morning, but it could possibly make landfall as a category three maybe later this week on the western coast of Florida. Now, if its track shifts a little to the west, that could possibly help us to increase our rain chances. But again, for us, we're mostly just expecting mostly sunny and mostly dry conditions for the rest of the week. And for today through Wednesday, it will be a little bit breezy. So again, open burning is pretty much discouraged for the first half of this week. Now highs will be staying in the low 80s. We could possibly get into the upper 70s on Thursday. Then by Sunday, we'll be back in the mid to upper 80s range once again. Thanks for tuning in and have a magnificent Monday.